Well, good day, YouTube. Uh, pardon my squinting. I left the blinds open for natural light, so I didn't have to turn on the lights other than the one right behind me. And albinos don't like the sun. It was a stupid move. But I'm not getting back up. We have the Merid Seuss cup out because we have another Merid Seuss beer. Merid Seuss Brown, or Brun. Uh, eight... 8% alcohol. Do you notice that he squeaks it as I'm talking? 8% alcohol. Aged for two months in the bill, in the bottle. Again, water, malt, hops, sugar, yeast. What's it going to be like? Uh, I apologize for the angle. For some reason, my tripod seems to be slanting slightly this way. And I don't know why. And my wife isn't here, so I don't have the ability to go out and buy a new tripod at the moment. So we're just going to work with it the way it is. I really got to find my two good openers now, because this Erazaraz one pisses me off. Anyway, the cup, that's just water in there. It's all been rinsed out nice and clean. Not going to affect anything, really. Well, that's a beautiful color. This is supposed to be a brown... And I mean, I can accept that it's brownish if you just look at it like this, just on its own. But if you get any light to it, that's a beautiful ruby red. I mean, beautiful ruby red. It looks awesome. Looks great in this glass. Nice head that isn't going away very much. Good viscosity. I mean, it's taking a few seconds for it to break apart when I move it. Very nice and creamy and bubbly in there. My dog is freaking out because I'm holding his ball under my feet. What's the beer smell like? Oh, that's a good smelling brown. Very sweet, very sugary, very yeasty. Almost has like a caramel smell to it sort of toffee-ish. It's really, really interesting, really good. The malt isn't really on the nose all that much. It's just this sweet, caramelly, yeasty smell. And it's... it's intoxicating, really. I'm... I'm gonna jump into tasting this because I'm really curious what it tastes like. I'm really hoping it's good. Let's uh, let us find out. <laughs> let us. Well, it's not as good as it smells. I'm saddened by that. It. You're stupid. It went that way. Very soft, very smooth, almost no carbonation, really, but it has a strange taste, uh, somewhat sour, it has that yeasty feel, so I'd say sour doughish, like, just something not right, uh, I would almost say maybe the bottle's a bad, except the rest of the beer, other than that strange, sourish taste right off the bat, is what I would have expected. There are some caramel notes to it after the sour, yeasty taste. There are some hoppy characters to it. There are some multi characters to it. But that sour, sour, yeasty taste at the beginning just turns me off.
you can tell that it's a higher percentage alcohol. It does have a slight alcohol burn. Not too bad, but a slight one. It... For a brown, I'd say it's actually below average. Uh, the blonde from Mered Seuss I really liked. The bottles and design I liked. The glass I really like. But this brown ale, it's not all that good. It still has that soury taste in my mouth mixed with the bitter hops finish and it's just not not sitting well mix that sour taste with the alcohol burn and then the hops burn at the end and you have a beer that just I don't like it I'll give it that it's very soft, almost to the point of stout soft. It has caramel notes in the middle. It has some hop character notes in the end that are bitter, almost almost floral bitter. It uh, has it has the caramel notes in the middle too. So it does have a wide variety, but the taste itself just isn't for me. Uh, for me, for a brown ale just not what I'd want. Uh, not something I'd ever go out looking for again. Really, I probably wouldn't even drink it again. If I really needed to get drunk, or if it was the only thing around, I, I would, but other than that, I probably would never touch this beer again. I'll give it that I love that it sticks to the side of the glass. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't taste bad when you burp it. But I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 10. It's nothing special. I don't like that sour taste. I don't like that I'm getting an alcohol burn on 8% alcohol. I don't like that the sour taste and the alcohol burn is mixed with an IPA-like floral hop finish. Really, though, I could accept both the alcohol burn and the hop finish if it didn't have that weird sour taste at the beginning. So really... It lost me with the weird sour taste. 3.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Here in my man cave, near White's Tavern, which apparently we'll be getting a new sign soon, too, so maybe we'll have to start going into White's Tavern soon. Anyway, again, thank you for watching. Good beer drinking to all of you. Have yourselves an awesome day. If you're living in southern Ontario, hopefully you have an okay time shoveling. I hated it. Bye.